Welcome to the adding tracks tutorial. I'm going to show you how to add all the different kinds of tracks that you can in Digital Performer. I'm sure you remember that we did open up a session in the previous tutorial with a template already enabled. But we're still going to add some tracks to this. However, there may be too many tracks. So what we're going to do at the end of this is we're going to eliminate the ones that we don't need. Remember, you might need 20 tracks or you might need two tracks depending on what your session requires. So it's good to plan things and not have any kind of redundancies or things that aren't necessary. So you go to Project and then you can add a MIDI track, a mono audio track, stereo track, a surround track. Of course, you need to have your hardware card configured for that. We're not going to be doing that in this uh, tutorial. Instrument tracks, uh, you can add instruments or you can add instruments and a MIDI track at the same time simultaneously. That's very useful. Auxiliary tracks, that could be a reverb track, that could be an effect track, all kinds of different possibilities. That could be a submix. So many things you can do in this software, so it's very exciting. Also a master fader track, of course, that's very useful uh, when you have your stereo out and you are mastering and bouncing your music. So let's start with the MIDI. All right, let's expand this window here so we can see better. As you can see, I added that MIDI track and as you can see here, it record enabled it. Okay, I'm going to undo that and then you're going to see, watch this again, MIDI track and there it is, right? Now it chose my Axiom 25 as the output device. That's only because we don't have any other output device hooked to the system right now and I haven't enabled any virtual instruments, which I will do in a moment so you can see how that works. Okay. So we're going to try a mono audio track too. Okay, and that mono audio track was added below there as you can see. All right, I'm just going to undo that. We don't really need that. Okay, I'm going to do the same. And as you can see, these shortcuts here, Shift, Apple S, Shift, Apple A, Shift, Apple M, uh, that's the same thing, really. Okay, all right, and here we are. That's the other one. Just for the sake of showing you how to do everything, you can also do a surround track here. Okay, there it is. All right, uh, if you have the appropriate cards, uh, plugged into your system, then you can choose the ins and outs for that, okay? So I'm gonna get rid of that for us here. All right, instrument track. These are all the instruments I currently have hooked up. I'll have more later in the series uh, when we do uh, the instrument creation tutorial, all right? So these are all the instruments I currently have hooked up, okay? All right, you can also add an instrument. Okay, so I'm gonna do it this way first. Let's just do, this. this is a very nice one here. Let's add that, there we go, it's a little synthesizer. Okay. And I can choose to link that track to that synthesizer. And here it is. Okay. Now, there's another way of doing this, which is actually really, really easy, okay? Just go Add Instruments. You can choose the instrument, right? So let's just choose, choose the same one if you want. And then, as you can see, you can add one MIDI track for each instrument, right? Or you could add two or three, really depends on how you want to go about that. And there's more advanced features within the uh, MIDI output, we can create a group of some sort. Uh, we can have it play through more than one software synthesizer or a software synthesizer and an external device. I mean, the possibilities are really endless, but let's keep things simple and constructed in a way so that you can understand it and be musical with this, because that's really the most important thing is to create music, not to be a techie, okay? Press OK. And there's the Proton 2. And as you can see here, it disabled the previous uh, record enabled track and it enabled this one here, track 10 for Proton 2, okay? All right, 
Let's see what we got here. Simple, right? Okay, so we're gonna disarm this track here. Okay, and we are going to add an auxiliary track. There'll be more on auxiliary tracks later, so don't be alarmed if you don't understand why we have an auxiliary track. Okay, and of course here we're gonna add a master fader track, which I don't believe we have on this session yet. And there we go, that's the master track. Okay, so that's basically how you add tracks to the session. The shortcuts are there. If you don't know where the shortcuts are or don't remember them, you can just go in here and see them, okay? And that concludes this tutorial. Thank you very much.